Hey welcome to our video about ABA terms. This is a YouTube channel work to help you pass the BCBA exam. All material we provided is based on the 5th edition BCBA exam requirements. The topic of today's video is ABA terms you must know in BCBA exam section B. This video is presented by BCBA mock exam. For more information you can visit us at www.bcbamockexam.com. Let's get started into today's content. Our first term is about stimulus control. Stimulus control refers to the influence that environmental cues have on our behavior. It's the concept that certain stimuli trigger specific responses. When a behavior is emitted more often in the presence of an antecedent than in its absence, because of its history of reinforcement, punishment or extinction. For example, think about how you automatically know it's time to be quiet and focus when the lights dim and the movie starts in a theater. The dim lights and the movie serve as stimuli that control your behavior. Stimulus control is all around us. It can be found in our routines, habits, and social interactions. Understanding it can help us modify our behaviors and make positive changes. Our second term is about discrimination, generalization, and maintenance. Discrimination, generalization, and maintenance are three concepts that play a significant role in shaping our perceptions and interactions with others. Let's explore each of them and understand their impact. Discrimination is the unfair treatment or prejudice towards individuals or groups based on certain characteristics such as race, gender, religion, or disability. It involves making negative judgments or taking actions that deny equal rights and opportunities to others. Let's look at some examples. A job interview setting where a qualified candidate is overlooked solely because of their gender. A person being denied entry to a public place due to their religious attire. A student facing bullying and exclusion because of their ethnic background. Discrimination creates divisions and perpetuates inequality harming individuals and societies as a whole. Generalization is the act of drawing broad conclusions or making assumptions about a whole group based on the characteristics or behaviors of a few individuals within that group. It involves applying stereotypes without considering individual differences. Let's move to the example, assuming that all members of a particular nationality are good at math based on the success of a few individuals. Believing that all teenagers are rebellious and troublesome because of a few instances of misbehavior. Stereotyping all elderly people as technologically illiterate, ignoring the fact that many are tech-savvy. Generalizations oversimplify reality and can lead to prejudice, misunderstanding, and the perpetuation of stereotypes. Maintenance refers to the act of sustaining existing social inequalities, biases, or prejudices through actions or inaction. It involves perpetuating discriminatory attitudes and behaviors over time. There are some examples of maintenance, a company consistently promoting employees based on their connections rather than merit, maintaining a lack of diversity in higher positions, a community failing to address systemic racism and actively maintaining unequal opportunities for marginalized groups, individuals disregarding the needs and concerns of others, perpetuating discriminatory behaviors and attitudes within their social circles. Our third term is motivating operations. What makes us motivated? What drives us to take action and pursue our goals? It's all about the power of motivating operations. Motivating operations refer to the internal and external factors that influence our behavior by altering the value of reinforcers or punishments. Let's dive deeper and explore some examples. One motivating operation is deprivation. When we're deprived of something we need or desire, it becomes more valuable to us. Imagine feeling thirsty after a long run. The value of that refreshing glass of water increases, motivating you to quench your thirst. Another motivating operation is escape. When we're in an aversive situation, we're driven to escape or avoid it. Attention is a powerful motivating operation. We all crave recognition and social interaction. When we receive attention, praise, or admiration, it becomes a motivating force, 
encouraging us to continue performing at our best. Scarcity can also be a motivating operation. The limited availability of certain items creates a sense of urgency and desire. Picture the excitement of getting your hands on a limited edition item before it disappears from the shelves. The scarcity motivates us to take action. Motivating operations are at the core of our drive and determination. They shape our behavior and push us towards success. The next term is EO establishing operation. So, what exactly is an establishing operation? An establishing operation refers to a condition or event that increases the effectiveness or value of a consequence, thereby influencing behavior. Let's start by looking at an example of an establishing operation that enhances the value of a consequence. Imagine you're really hungry and your favorite meal is being served. On the other hand, an establishing operation can also make a consequence more aversive or less desirable. Consider a situation where you haven't slept well and are feeling tired and fatigued. Now, let's explore some examples to gain a better understanding of establishing operations and their impact. A child who is craving attention might engage in attention-seeking behavior. The consequence of receiving attention becomes highly valuable due to the establishing operation of attention deprivation. Understanding establishing operations allows us to recognize the factors that influence the value of consequences and our behavior. By being aware of these operations, we can better understand why certain consequences hold greater significance, empowering us to make informed choices. The next term is abolishing operation AO. An abolishing operation, or AO, refers to a condition or event that decreases the effectiveness or value of a consequence, thereby reducing the likelihood of a specific behavior occurring. Let's consider an example of an AO that diminishes the value of a consequence. Imagine you have just finished eating a large and satisfying meal. In this case, the consequence of receiving additional food as a reward would be less effective or valuable because the AO of being satiated has reduced the motivation for food. Recognizing the influence of abolishing operations allows us to understand why certain consequences may lose their effectiveness in motivating behavior. By understanding AO, we can adapt our approaches and find alternative strategies to maintain motivation. That's all the abotterms for today's video. We will post more videos about key ABA terms and definitions in BCBA exam. So please follow our channel and let us help you pass the BCBA exam on the first try. If you wish to study more ABA terms and try real BCBA exams, welcome to visit us at www.bcbamockexam.com. That's all the content for today's video. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy it.